of days. I'm strongly urging everyone to take what I'm about to tell you very seriously. If you do not understand what I'm saying, keep watching till you do. Because if you turn away from this video, you will regret it dearly. The Earth is being rocked with a strong magnetic pulse that is devastating all the beings in it. And it's about to get 1,000 times worse. Here's how this magnetic pulse is affecting us as Since we electricity speak. and magnetism are really just two forms of the same thing, a magnet can affect the electrical signals in your brain. Now this is your brain. It's basically an electric web of billions of neurons wired together. When a strong magnetic pulse hits these neurons, it alters their electric current. The process is called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. Electricity is the currency of the brain. All thoughts, all beliefs, all actions are just electrical impulses. And so TMS, we're actually able to get in there and influence the currency of the brain vocally and non-invasively. The stronger the magnetic pulse, the deeper into the brain it goes. And by adjusting the pattern of the pulse, you can change the way that part of the brain functions. You can turn a part of the brain up or down or temporarily turn it off. Or temporarily turn it off. Or temporarily turn it off. This magnetic field is having an effect on Earth as we speak. These cars are being lifted in the air due to this magnetic field. And you and everything you know will be lifted in a moment. You hear a lot of people talking about the rapture. And, you, and you're trying to understand what are they talking about? Uh, rapture, lifted, you know. It's a magnetic pulse from a planet that is coming. And I want to explain a little bit to you about this planet that is coming. The government knows all about this planet. This planet been here since the days of Sodom and Gomorrah and the days of Noah. And each civilization was destroyed by this planet. This planet, it caused severe weather patterns, unprecedented. And when this planet comes close to our planet, it changes our planet to evil because when God designed the universe, he designed this evil planet to come to the evil. Galatians 6, 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, he will also reap. If man becomes evil on this planet and makes this planet an evil planet, he shall also reap an evil planet. An evil planet is on its way. Psalm 7, 16. The trouble they cause recoils on them. It comes down on you. Their violence comes down on their own heads. So this planet affects the minds. It is killing animals. Animals are dying off. The fish is dying off. It is disrupting the whole planet. Another small life lost on the vast Kazakh grasslands. Officials estimate that in the last two weeks as many as 12,000 Saiga antelope have died. No one can understand what's happened because we see dead animals concentrated in a certain area. The government is baffled. This phenomenon took place not only in the area where mass death of Saiga antelope took place, it also happened in another district some time ago where strange white fog was seen. As their numbers plummet once again, this graceful sight is becoming ever rarer. These are the signs of God. And as this planet moves closer, it is throwing off red iron oxide, evil red iron oxide, which is affecting the minds of the animals, the humans, and the whole entire planet with its strong evil magnetic field. As the magnetic field affects the earth and the minds of the people, they become more evil. And violence is about to break out to a scale unprecedented, never seen before in the history of mankind. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, and all these are the beginnings of sorrow. Coming at you live 
from Gilbert, Arizona, Southeast Phoenix. This is unedited footage of the sunset. Are you serious? Now, as this planet approach our planet, it lets off iron oxide. It has a meteor tail, three million miles long. And this meteor tail, every time this planet turns and swerves and goes around something, it spreads out like wings. And those wings will be a sign of the return of Christ. It will be a sign. And I just said it, what is going to be a sign. Those wings are going to spread out and it's going to have a long tail and it's going to look like Jesus Christ on the cross. This prophecy stated that if man did not turn from evil and place himself at the feet of God, the planet would self-destruct and the events described in the book of Revelation would indeed come to pass. This is your final warning. If you did not hear anything that anyone has been telling you, at least hear this. Your doom is coming. The planet will be rising. The, the, the two magnetic fields is coming into each other and they will pull on this earth in such a way that you have never seen ever in life. If you are not straight with God, you better get yourself straight. The end of this world is right here at hand. And it's going to be like in the days of Noah. It's going to be like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, you have an ounce of time. Days. Days. So I'll do a quick recap. The iron oxide from this evil planet is causing an effect on the minds of the people. And it's, as the planet gets closer, it's going to get worse and worse. The police, you think they're bad now, they're going to be a, a thousand percent worse. It's going to wreak havoc. The World War III is going to start. It's going to affect the minds, this magnetic pulse, this field. Animals and everything like never before. So you just be ready to go. And I'm not talking about world ready. I'm not talking about prepper ready. I'm talking about God ready. Because this planet is going to be destroyed. It's done. And you can be deceived by the beast at this time. The elections is going to go horrible. Everything is going to go bad. This is Venezuela right here. Everything is about to go bad. Yeah. And basically, people are getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And just think about people who are already on men mental medications. You know, uh, it is time to get yourself out of the city. It is time to flee to the mountains. It is time to set your teepee out in the wilderness. If you ain't understanding what I'm saying, then you will not. Turn off the video. Go to hell. If you do understand what I'm saying, please get yourself in your house in order. Get away from the city. This is Raptor News. And now men want to ask me why I'm not into the playoffs this weekend. I'm sorry. I'm so busy covering the incredible hardcore news that I haven't even gotten into the ninth planet that was discovered that they announced last week. And, of course, they discovered it a long time ago. They just got around to telling us. And there's a reason they didn't get around to telling us about it. I am someone who always got sick and tired of hearing about Planet X. Because as long as I've been on the air, people are saying, it's coming next year, it's coming in three years, it's going to happen. The ancients said it comes through every 20,000 years in a different type of orbit that doesn't go in circles around the sun, but goes way out past the Kuiper belt and comes in basically in a, at an elliptical. And then I started reading deeper into this planet, and it, there it was. 
a 20,000 year deformed orbit going out into deep space, 10 times the size of the Earth. It is Planet X, folks. Isn't that just perfect that this would just show up while all this circus is going on? Now, now I want to be clear about this. It fits the bill of Planet X. They're probably 50, 60, 100, 1,000. I don't know Planet X's. They've already chronicled Hundreds and hundreds of planetoids bigger than Pluto in the Kuiper Belt out past the former ninth planet. Named after the god of the underworld. A fitting name. The Roman god of hell. So they said no more ninth planet because we got to say we have hundreds of planets if there's things bigger than it. Well, Pluto's little. This sucker is gigantor. Compared to Pluto. They're in the news today, meteorologists talking about how the moon being full during the blizzard is going to make it worse. And it, and, it, and it does. It affects space winds. Winds of space. The sun. And a lot more. Why the full moon could make this weekend's blizzard more destructive. Who knows? what this planet is going to do coming closer in to the solar system. Because here's the deal. It's been way out there for however long, and now they've tracked its course and think it's every 20,000 years right out of what the ancient Babylonians and the Mayans and all these other cultures said this big planet comes through and that there's earthquakes and volcanoes and all hell breaks loose. And it comes through every 20,000 years, and then now here it comes. Now, I don't know if this is the one, because there's so many of them out there. Who knows what's out there? We're too busy looking at Hillary Clinton and going, I'm voting for her because she's a woman. Who cares? What I'm getting at is we don't have time for racism and sexism and all this fighting and all this garbage and all this divide and conquer when we have genetic engineering going on, splicing and mutating every species on the planet, like something out of H.G. Wells, the island of Dr. Maru, squared. Planet X, they discovered it. Ten times bigger than Earth, the size of Neptune, a gas giant, with a 20,000-year orbit, exactly what a bunch of the ancients said. They said it when it comes back through, it causes massive catastrophes, Volcanoes, you name it. By the way, Kit gave me a whole stack of articles about record volcanoes. I laid it somewhere. I think in there by the coffee pot. Uh, but uh, I'm going to have to actually get to that. Halfway into the hour with Michael Schneider from the Economic Collapse blog and get his take on it. And, and, and here's the deal, folks. I, I don't want to say I'm eating my hat on this, but I've been very, very critical of the perennial books that have been coming out since the mid-90s about Planet X is coming. It's a gas giant, 20,000-year elliptical orbit. You know, the uh, Babylonians talked about it, the Zoroasters, the Mayans. I never said that I didn't think that there aren't a whole bunch of planets out there. They've proven there's hundreds of them that are out in the Kuiper Belt past Pluto. That's why they delisted it, as I said earlier. What I was getting at is constantly saying it's coming next year and constantly saying it's the end of the world and the movie 2012, and then I get blamed for it. They would, I mean, there's so many news articles going, Alex Jones is the one who said we didn't go to the moon and that aliens run everything and that the Himalayas are going to be, you know, at sea level. Uh, well, hey, Alex, 2012 didn't kill everybody. And so it just gets old. But it does show how the ancients were certainly right about big planets that come through, and there are big disasters, and there are big asteroids that hit the Earth, and there are big Earth changes, and the elite shouldn't be the focus of everything. They're all busy. I saw another headline last week going, Alex Jones says the elite want off-world colonies to escape Earth. I was quoting top elitist on their way to Davos saying that was going to be up for discussion. It was mainstream news. So even when there's mainstream news that 
you know, Thiel and all these other folks and, and, and you know, the uh, Tesla owner and all the rest of it are saying we need a Mars colony for the elite. I cover what they say, and then they go, Alex is crazy and made this up. So, see, that's how they operate. They think you're stupid. But I tell you, uncanny that the ancients said 20,000 years, bigger than the Earth, and all the rest of it, and here it is. Um, the question is, we're trying to look at its orbit. I mean, is it even scheduled? I guess it's coming in closer. That's what they're saying. That's how they're able to, to see it now. It's coming in from this orbit. What is it? They're saying many, many, many times further out from Pluto. You're one ugly motherfucker.